News 4 Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. And breaking right now at 6, you're taking a live look outside the Duval County Courthouse where a suspicious letter was delivered just hours ago. The fire department's hazmat team is already there and some employees have been told to leave. The letter comes after several suspicious letters were delivered to the state attorney's office yesterday afternoon. They turned out to be harmless. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us live outside the courthouse with an update on this breaking news. Marilyn. So right now we're standing at the intersection of Church Street and Pearl Street. I want to show you behind me. Foot traffic is still going through. However, JSO has a lot of these streets in downtown blocked off, trying to investigate what happened here. You can see a few fire trucks further down. We're told the hazmat team is on scene as well. And within the last 30 minutes, we got a statement from the FBI. They said FBI Jacksonville, together with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the Jacksonville Fire Rescue Department, are currently investigating a suspicious letter sent to the Duval County Courthouse. We are working with our partners to ensure the safety of all employees and visitors as we investigate further. As this is an ongoing matter, no further details can be confirmed at this time. So again, that's the FBI. They're confirming that there was a suspicious letter sent to the courthouse and multiple sources told News for Jax that that letter had a suspicious white powdery substance. The good news is JFRD let us know that as of right now, no courthouse how staffers were apparently exposed to whatever this substance may be. However, the hazmat team is here. They are investigating and it's still a very active scene. If you drive through downtown, they're keeping a lot of the traffic coming out, but a lot of people that are working at the courthouse or working in some of these areas are still walking through here. So we're going to continue to monitor and follow this situation as it develops. I'm live downtown, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station.